global warming, polar ice caps are melting, and the sea level will rise. And a lot of humanity that lives along the coast all over the world will perish. This is what we keep hearing. Then I thought about it. Then I thought about it some more. And I thought about it some more. And then I thought about it some more. And some more. And some more. Then I thought about this experiment that people normally do to show that the water levels will not rise when the ice melts. Look sensible for a while, but what if the ice in the polar ice caps is not floating? What if it's, there's ice all the way from the surface to the bottom of the ocean? What if it's stuck there? What if there's more ice under the ocean than what you can see above it? So how will that change the prediction? Like always, we've created a small presentation to see what happens. Watch. We took a round bowl so that the ice cannot surface above the level easily, simulating a scenario that it is stuck underwater. So what we see is that when the ice above the surface melts, the water level rises. And that's happening all over the world today. But then as the ice below starts melting, the water level starts to drop. Simply because when ice is formed, the volume increases. In fact, that's why you don't put filled bottles in the freezers, because it'll crack. That's when the water turns into ice, it expands. Therefore, when it melts, the volume decreases. And if that happens all over the world, the ocean levels will drop. So initially, the global warming will cause the sea levels to rise. But perhaps over the century, the level will start going down. In fact, it will go down maybe lower than the present levels. Agreed? But then there's a twist again. The Earth spins on its axis, which is through the poles. If all the ice in the poles melt, and because the maximum speed is near the equator, the maximum centrifugal force will be experienced there. Now the water will be free to go anywhere it wants and therefore the water in the oceans will want to start collecting near the equators. So keeping all that in mind, here's my prediction. Global warming will first cause the water levels to rise globally and then fall globally. But in the end it will settle such that as compared to today, the levels will be lower at the poles and keep increasing till it's higher than today's levels along the equator. By the way, it will therefore also affect the speed of the Earth's rotation. Think about it. We must do all that we can to reduce global warming. Because simply put, the fact that polar ice caps are melting is changing the planet. It's affecting seasons, climate, ocean currents and even causing earthquakes. Yes, even earthquakes. Anyway, that's what we think. But that's a different video.